Well, I learned to have big ideas. No and kidding. my father loves big ideas. Yeah. And I love spontaneity. And, and, and it's important. My father loved to have young people around him because he wanted youth. I said, why do you want all these young people around? He goes, he goes, Ross, you don't know any better. He said, if you get surrounded by a bunch of old guys, if they've got too much experience, you know, they don't, they don't have the vision and the passion. You've got to get these wild ideas. Totally so my agree. father always wanted young people with crazy ideas. And I tell people, if you're going to go see my dad, you better not talk to him about a basic deal. Right. If you go in and say, look, this is a deal, and the internal rate of return is 20%, and there's a return on capital, yeah. it's okay, great, you know, y'all go see do it. that. But right. if, if it was big, yeah. then he'd get engaged. Yeah. And so it was that big, impactful idea is what I learned. And so when you go around the world, when you think about building an airport, it's like, oh, yeah, we, we can do that. You know, in, in, our, in our, our culture is one of optimism. Right. And we really do believe that if you rally the right team, we can get these very difficult projects done. No one thought we could get the American Airlines Center done. No. Everyone said the citizens of Dallas will never vote for that project. Remember how negative yes. it was? Yes. We lost the Cowboys. We yes. lost the Rangers. Yes. But it's like, you know, Ron Kirk? Yes. If it wasn't for Ron Kirk, Ron was a stud. that arena wouldn't be there. It totally was Ron agree. Kirk and John Ware. Yep. Those two.